So what I need to do is I press on diagnosis. So now I want to perform a scan for this vehicle. So I press on this auto VIN. I will do an auto detect. So what I'm using here is a uh, Audi and A6. Okay. So now from here, the system will automatic get the VIN number of this vehicle. So I just click on OK. So now I have an A6. So I will select on A6. And this should be one of it. Is it an all-road avant-garde or a saloon? So I'll press on what I have here. And what kind of engine are this vehicle using? So this information can get it from the data card of your vehicle. Usually there's a sticker on the driver driver side door. So it will state there that this is running a CHJA 2.0 liter. Okay, after everything has been selected, we just click on OK. So from here, the system will go through everything. So as you can see here, for this model of vehicle, uh, and also some others, they actually for Volkswagen, we have a lot of control units. So as you can see here, I can zoom in here, you can see I have a few different kinds of color of this line. So all of this line indicate a different kind of CAN bus system. So you can see on bottom, or the purple one is the information CAN. The red one will be called comfort CAN. The blue one will call drive train CAN. Okay, so you can see this car has three kinds of CAN system. And also everything, all of this CAN system will connect to GW, means the gateway. And the gateway will share the information to the OBD port here. So where I'm slotting my VCI is on this OBD2 port. That's why I can get all the data from this vehicle. Okay, so now we just give the system run through and uh, go through everything. So, yeah, so the scanning will also depend on the scar. So not every tablet will have this topology graph. So only the message, the new release scanner that released by Altair have this topology view the 909, 919, and Ultra, okay? Okay, so now let's have a look. Okay, so the total of one fourth here from the BRK03 here. So from here, you can see that we have one four code on top of here. So most of the diagnostic scanner, this, that what I did not mention, the, the new one, so like the MX-808, the 906, 908, they actually have this kind of view, the least view of diagnosis uh, fault. Okay, so if you want, because of this new tablet, we have actually changed the interface. So all the fault description means this uh, fault have one. So we have here the fault code description underneath the control units. Okay, and also from here, the new device here, we have this intelligent diagnosis. I will just uh, roughly go through. Just now that someone asked about the TSB, Technical Service Bulletin. So we actually have Technical Service Bulletin for this vehicle, that uh, for this kind of port. So from here, this kind of information is actually get from the manufacturer. So we have actually have an A6, the year of 2012 to 2014. Uh, maybe some message below here, they have warning lights or vehicle cannot be start. So there is the description below, everything, so on. So we do have this technical service bulletin on our new model. So in future, if you, you guys have any interest about these tools, uh, you can go to www.outel.com or maybe we can organize a seminar again to share the information. And also we have this repair assist, okay? So what I want to tell here, for example, let's say I go into this brake system. So from brake system, what I can see here, we have, uh, like what I mentioned previously, we have issue information, we have read fault, clear fault, and so on. Okay, so because I'm using the ultra, so the interface is slightly different. So, but the selection is about the same. So we have issue information here. So I select on issue information. So you can see from the issue information, we can know the software coding number from here. Let's say you have changed another ABS control unit. So from here, I can read the old one and I write this coding number into the new one. Or maybe the software version, I can get it from here. The part number from the VAG number or the hardware number, everything is listed here. So without removing the component, I can just get all of this information from my diagnosis tools. 
with the using of the ECU information. Okay, so the next one is the trouble codes. So from trouble codes here, we can know this fork code is actually what kind of status. Is it a history, a uh, passive, an uh, active fault? For example, this is a passive one and the description here is a function limited due to receive malfunction value and so on. So for the ultra series, they have this intelligent diagnosis. That means they will teach you step-by-step step how to perform the diagnosis. So today I will not go through this. I will go through the basic one for you guys. So beside that, we have this live data. So for live data, for example, we can check on some live data. For example, the control unit have 12.09 volt of voltage come in. And let's see this one we need to run and uh, go through. Okay, and also like tire pressure for the front left, uh, right, and so on. So from here, all of this live data can help in your diagnosis. Okay, for example, you can check whether the condition of every sensor and all, uh, every sensor of it, is it in good condition? Or maybe I activate a switch, so is it on or off? And so on. So active test also from here, sorry. So active test here, we can perform an active test. For example, I can active some uh, dynamic test. I need to active the inlet valve, uh, static test, and so on. So active test can do some testing on it. So for just now, I say that Volkswagen have a bit different from other system. So they do have adaptation. They have basic setting, whereby this kind will be more advanced, but they actually is something like a uh, calibration or reset. So in future, if you guys want to know uh, about this thing, uh, we will have another section, okay? <laughs> so we have this basic setting, we have, and so on, everything here. So this is why we need a diagnosis tools on our workshop. They can really help you guys a lot when you perform uh, checking on the vehicle, okay? So now I could like to do uh, maybe a parking brake release for this vehicle, okay? So let me quit here, the system here. So now I will go to the service menu here. That's how I'm doing the diagnosis. I also can do it on the diagnostic for this uh, parking brake release, but to, to show you guys, I will do it on the service menu. So for service menu, so I have a few selection here. So today I want to demo about uh, the EPB, electrical parking brake. I will select on EPB here. So same, I will do an auto detection, auto win. So the system will scan the car by itself. Remember to switch on the ignition. Without switching on, they can't communicate, okay? So from here, I'm going to do the parking brake because I want to replace the real brake. Okay, I press on parking brake. So from here, we have replace brake pad, the operation guide. We can just press on here and it directly starts. So I will press on this one. So the system will say, uh, first of all, uh, this is just a warning. So you need to know to read through for this. Everything okay, you just press okay. First thing is you need to release the parking brake. So you need to check on your parking switch. Is it uh, does not have red color mm, lights on? If does not have, then we can just proceed. Okay, so now I have released the parking brake. So I'll press okay. So the electrical motor behind will automatic move to service position or some people call assembly position. So you will hear a sound of turning sound behind your wheel. So when this wheel, uh, this sound of end, that's mean you can start to do your replacement. So you initial off, unplug your VCI and remove your wheel, remove your caliper, remove your brake pads and you can compress your piston. Okay, and then you install everything back and you connect back the diagnosis tools and you need to actuate it back to normal stage. So I press okay for here. So it will exit the service position. So you need to know the system very well, okay? So if you does not really uh, fix back everything and you have uh, fixed back everything, or like for example, the brake pad and the caliper is not together, so it's hanging around, so and you do this step, it might release and push the piston out and that time you need to repair a lot of things. So for now, the last stage here, I have heard the sound, the motor has run back and I need to do is apply the parking brake to double confirm the system is good or not. So now I just need to apply and check is it good or not. So everything is good, then it's done. So this is the EPB electrical parking.